Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video game system review here on the Lincoln Williams Show. I haven't done these in a while um, because I've been dealing with other things and, um, you know, so here is another video game system review here on the Lincoln Williams Show. Um, and today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch uh, 2023 edition on how the system is doing and its final year of actually it's 2024 uh 2024 edition of the nintendo switch uh so i'm going to be doing a 2024 review on the nintendo switch and see how it's holding up um so the Nintendo Switch came out in 2017 um, and going on to 2024. Um, so, yeah, I mean, how is how is the Nintendo Switch in 2024? So, um, yeah, the Nintendo Switch... So what is the Nintendo Switch? The Nintendo Switch is a portable slash home console device so that you take your Nintendo Switch tablet and you plug it into the dock like this. And you plug it into the dock like this. Uh, so you plug it into the dock like this. And you can separate the controllers out like... Uh, like so these are called Joy-Con controllers, and you can separate the uh, the controllers from the tablet, basically. So yeah, so it's it's basically you know a home console slash portable console hybrid of you know so yeah so you can do motion controls, you can do portable controls, you can do home console controls. Uh, with this device. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So let's talk about the console itself. You got a headphone jack, a volume button, and a power button, and a USB Type-C connector at the bottom of the device. And um, basically, and you got a game card reader you got a game card reader at the top, like you got your game cartridges uh, at the top. Um, now these game cartridges are small. These game cartridges are small, and uh, it's really incredible how what Nintendo has uh, able to do with these tiny game cartridges. Um, so yeah. Uh, so let's talk about the hardware itself. So the Nintendo Switch platform only has YouTube, Crunchyroll, and YouTube, Crunchyroll, and Hulu on their platform. No other streaming apps like Disney Plus and such as other things like that. Um so the question is, can you play retro games on this device? Yes, you can, but you will have to subscribe. You will have to subscribe to Nintendo Switch Online to be able to do Nintendo and Super Nintendo and Game Boy games. And if you want to do get the full package for $50 a month, $50 a year, that'll include Nintendo 64. Sega Genesis and Game Boy Advance and all that stuff and Game Boy Advance. Um, so those are the monthly things if you want to decide if you want to get the Game Boy Advance system or not. So, uh, yeah. Um, and with this system, it's all about the games. It's all about the games instead of the, instead of the, uh, multimedia platform it's all about the games um and the games are 
really incredible for this system. I played Pokemon games. The Pokemon games are really good for this system. They're really, really good. I spent most of my time in Pokemon Sword. That's I haven't beaten it yet, but I I plan to do a review on it. And um, Pokemon Sword is probably one of the best ones because it goes back to, you know, the Pokemon formula. And um, it does it in a modern way. So it does... It goes back to the Pokemon formula, but it does it in a modern way with Pokemon Sword. Not stuff. So that is probably one of the better ones. But but if you want a more open world, then there's Pokemon Legends Arceus. Not stuff. If you want a more open world one, then Pokemon Legends Arceus is, is good. It's a good one. Um, but if you want a more traditional Pokemon game, then Pokemon Diamond is a good one uh, for more uh, traditional, uh, classic Pokemon routes, basically, is Pokemon Diamond. Um, and if you want an interactive one, then there's Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee and all that stuff. So. So here's uh, one of the games that you got to get for your Nintendo Switch system is the first one I would probably get is uh, is Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now that is a good it's a good game, but for girl gamers, but for girl gamers, I would get Animal Crossing. I would totally get it for Animal I would totally get into Animal Crossing because there's so much customization going on in that game. It's not that really hard. And you can create your own island. You can do all this extra stuff. And lots and lots of girl gamers and my wife really appreciate Animal Crossing and what it does. All that stuff. The most the game that I put in the most hours would probably be between Zelda Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That those games are good. Uh the best Mario game to get is Mario is Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey is top notch when it comes to Nintendo when when it comes to Nintendo games. Um, so the game, yeah, there's, so there's many different RPGs like the Xenoblade Chronicles series that the, those games are just spectacular in their own right. Um, so the Xenoblade Chronicles series is, is very good. Um, Super Smash, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is is good as well, is one of the best fighting games ever made. It's one of the best fighting games ever made. 10 out of 10, masterpiece uh, of a fighting game. So check out Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So and there's also creative games like, um, oh, what was it? There was this VR creation game where you can create your own VR, VR headset with um, the Nintendo Switch, and that's always fun, but I'd rather have an actual VR headset to go with my with my stuff. Uh, what about movement games? Uh, Nintendo Switch Sports is a good um, movement game, as well as Just Dance 2024. That stuff with a subscription to Just Dance Plus. Not stuff. So, yeah. Um, sorry, I got an itchy head. Um, so I would go. So the top ten. So the top five games that you should get first is Zelda: Breath of the Wild, 
And then after that, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And that's number one. Number two is um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Number three, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Number four is Mario Odyssey. And number five is Animal Crossing. So, or did I say Animal Crossing? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's so many games to get for this system, but I recommend those. Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild slash Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Animal Crossing, and Mario Odyssey. And all that stuff. So, those are the top five. And all that stuff. Anything else is optional. The Pokemon games are optional. Um, yeah, so there's lots and lots of different games for the Nintendo Switch system. So, um, it's probably one of the best value, best, best value in gaming. Because once you buy that $60 game, uh, you don't want to step out. Of, you don't want to, like step out of it for weeks because of how good it is not stuff and um you know i had that happen with the nintendo switch because i was playing like you know animal crossing and i was just like studying that game easily on how to make money easily and it's just oh it's so time consuming um it was one of the best games of the pandemic and it's one of the best creation like job simulator, like going to work every day and um, paying your bills and stuff like that. And it just teaches kids how to pay, pay bills and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, working out in the fields and planting trees and all that stuff. And it's just, it's crazy what you can do in that game. It's just, it's, it's mind blowing and all that stuff. Um, and there's RPGs like uh, Xenoblade Chronicles uh, 1, 2, and 3. And Xenoblade Chronicles 2, The Golden Country. So that those are very good games. Very good games. Um, and those, there's also the remakes and remasters like Metroid Prime and, um, and uh, Excellent. Metroidvania is like Metroid Dread and all that stuff. So Metroid Dread is a really good game. Really good game. And Metroid Prime Remastered. Um, Metroid Prime Remastered is such a masterpiece of an open world Metroid game. Um, and I hope they keep pumping these out um, through the years to come. And there's Upcoming remakes like um, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And I'm very, very excited about that one. So, um, yeah, there's so many other games uh, for the system. Uh, there's also Skyrim. There's also Skyrim and Doom and um, Dragon's Dogma for rated M, for rated M people. And there's Boatloads more of rated M games for the for the Switch. And there's something for everybody for the Switch. There's something for everybody to stick their teeth into. It's like, you know, uh crunching on a crunching on a gummy worm and the gummies don't really they just stick to you in your mouth and all that stuff. So or like gum or something like that. So it's just it just gets really sticky, and these exper experiences get really sticky with you when you're like playing it portably or memorable experiences. Um, there's also another remake called uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I'll probably review that in the next little bit. I don't know, but um, I'm pretty far into it, and uh. Yeah, so, so yeah, um, so yeah, uh, 
Yeah, so it's all about the games on the Nintendo Switch platform uh, this time around and not the multimedia platform and an internet browser and all that stuff. So those are not really there, but it's all about the games. And the games are just incredible if you just look these up because the Pokemon games are just incredible from the Nintendo Switch. Um, and the Mario games and the Zelda games and, um, and stuff like that. They're just really incredible experiences and I enjoyed them a lot. And so, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, I think the Nintendo Switch is even, I think it's better I think it's better than the Wii because, you know, Nintendo put a lot of effort within their Joy-Cons and their actual movement of Joy-Cons and all that stuff. So, yeah, it's even better than the Wii remote. And, um, yeah, so and they also have really incredible LEGO games like LEGO City Undercover and LEGO Star Wars, the so Skywalker Saga. Those games are really good and all that stuff. Those games are really good for the Nintendo Switch. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I mean, research a whole lot of the games that you're going to get into and all that stuff. Just do a lot of research and um, you'll find a game that's suitable for you for the platform. Um some of these games are not really that easy, like uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That game is not as easy to pull off because it just takes time. Because these games are just time-consuming. And, you know, for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, I had a lot of time for Zelda Breath of the Wild, but I don't have a lot of time for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom because you know I have to spend I have to spend time with my wife I have to spend time at work I have to you know spend time with a whole lot of my friends and you know church people and stuff like that I just don't have a lot of time for Tears of the Kingdom like trying to build up build an aircraft or something like that in in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom so I just don't have a lot of time like I used to anymore for some of these games. I just I just don't have a lot of time. And I just let my wife just play on the play on the TV or you know watch on the TV all the time now. I just you know I just do things in short bursts as an adult now. I just do things in short bursts with my VR headset, with my gaming laptop. I just do, do things in short bursts. Now, I just I just don't have a lot of time like I used to back in like 2017 or like from 2015 to 2016 like I did. Um so yeah, I just don't have a lot of time to play video games anymore and that's really Okay, but the Switch is going to give you a lot of time with these games. Because some of these games are huge. Like, like Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and stuff like that. And uh, maybe Pokemon? I don't know. But anyway, yeah. But it all comes down to the games for the Nintendo Switch system. What do you want to play? Do you want to play active games? Uh, do you want to play sit-down casual games? Do you want to play open-world games? Do you want to do time-consuming or 20-minute bursts every single day? Um, so it just all depends on you, on how you want to how you want to play the Nintendo Switch system. Um, so I've been playing a lot of Luigi's Mansion 3 
uh, and stuff like that. So I've been playing a lot of Luigi's Mansion 3 recently, and I've been playing it with uh, Chris as well. And, you know, I'm really, I was really shocked that we could play two player on that one because that's, that's really fun. And Luigi's Mansion 3 has never, has never been better. And, and it's one of the best Luigi Mansion games ever made is Luigi's Mansion 3. So anyways, yeah, I mean, the couch co-op experiences, the multiplayer experiences, the single player experiences, it's all there on the Nintendo Switch. So, so the Nintendo Switch system probably is so the final verdict for the Nintendo Switch system is a 9 is a 9 out of 10 9 out of 10 with Nintendo Switch online um plus expansion pack with Nintendo Switch online plus expansion pack and the back catalog of, go, go, of games with the back catalog of games at its disposal that the Nintendo Switch system is one of the best Nintendo systems of all time based on, you know, based on its games, back catalog of games, and exclusive games, and all that stuff. And it really boils down to the factor of this is one of the best Nintendo systems ever made. All that stuff. So... Yeah, I mean, what do you think about the Nintendo Switch? Is it the best console ever? Is it the best Nintendo console ever? Um, I think it is. It, it really appeals a lot over the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. It's a lot it's a lot more accessible. It's a lot more you know, it's a lot more in tune for younger gamers and girl and girl gamers to get interest in and all that stuff. So yeah, so and autistic gamers, no, so and autistic and disabled uh, gamers. Um, so yeah, it's very, 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 it's very, very good. So yeah, so the Nintendo Switch system is a nine out of ten, and. Uh, it's just it's just one of the best and it and it appeals to my wife like a lot more in like recent years and all that stuff and uh but we still go back to the like the Nintendo 64 and stuff like that and play some games on that but a lot of the games are transferring to Nintendo Switch online so that's always good um so yeah and I'm so happy that the Nintendo 64 made it to Nintendo Switch Online. That one was a biggie because, you know, I played so many versions of, you know, Zelda Ocarina of Time that I lost count. All that stuff. So, anyways. um, Yeah. So, anyways. Um... Yeah, so I give a half a point down. I give a half a point down because it doesn't have it doesn't have uh multimedia multimedia uh f- like not physical media but multi multi uh media support like Prime Video or Disney Plus. So I give that a point down or Netflix for that matter. Um, and I give a half a point down because another half a point down because of the controllers that come with the system. Cause you will have to upgrade your controllers to a more stable stick because the stick drift on the Nintendo switch joy con controllers. So I would, so they, I will have to point those out. That stuff. So you will have to upgrade your controllers from time to time, 
and stuff like that. So the Nintendo Switch, final verdict for Nintendo Switch is a 9 out of 10. I hope you like this review of the Nintendo Switch and um, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, have a fantastic day, YouTubers, and I'll see you guys all later in the next Lincoln Williams Show episode. And I'll be back someday, someday, YouTubers. And stay tuned for the MetaQuest 2 VR headset. Have a fantastic day, YouTubers, and I'll be back someday, someday, YouTubers.